immediately we're seeing a couple of bands. Diggy, Estes, Valentina, Blacklist take Kadita as well as Kaja away. All right, so they don't opt for first pick this time around. Mm -hmm. Still, they claim the second pick. And this is interesting. I want to know if things are going to change like you mentioned, but looking at the Kaja banned out. Well, still huh. going to give up the Franco. I think you banned one one here. I mean, I kind of just want to ban the Franco, man. Because again, if luck is mm -hmm. the factor here, then you know what? Don't take any chances. Oh, yeah, oh. they heard. Leo said they will adjust. Oh. Yep, they are definitely adjusting. I, like I was agreeing with, I was gonna agree with LaFell that maybe they should get rid of the Franco at this point because it felt like half the time it was the X factor that made the difference. The reason why they banned out the Franco is that it says because the Valentina has been banned out by Onik, right? They know that eventually the. The Joy will be the priority for Onik, but that means that Joy as well as 1-1 one -one is going to be the priority for Onik. If Onik picks up the 1-1, one -one, this is Blacklist being comfortable with the Joy. So that will be the answer. They want to get the Joy's second pick, that's why they ban out the Franco this time. But you did mention that the last time you, they needed that extra bit of damage to get through that Joy. The Valentina is already gone, so we're probably looking for a substitute later on. 1-1 one -one gets locked in. Eterna, thoughts? It's risky. It's, I think, I always think that a 1-1 first pick is risky, but... Yeah. And I say this because there are a lot of counters towards it, right? Uh, Fovius, Diggy, okay, Diggy's banned out. Even the Purify, a battle spell, can be the counter towards the 1-1. But we've seen these teams make it work. And in the hands of CW, like Miracle has mentioned before, it is a force to be reckoned with. So the question now is, what are Blacklist going to go for? Are they going to go for the Joy yep. Novaria She's route here? Me. Okay, Fredrin. Fredrin first. Fredrin's always been their prior pick early on that has gotten them so ahead in the early game. And even in game number two, we saw the Fredrin really dictate the matchup because of the jungle clear of the CC. Now add the Joy into it, and it's a, it's a very, very threatening combo. It was a very quick shot, but I got to see Edward's face. He was cracking his knuckles after getting Ooh. the Joy. You know Edward, yep. you know the drafts the are up. in. Yep. How, how does this feel for Blacklist? They are going to be activating him. Oh, man, <laughs> I was wow. definitely going to say the Faramis as well as the Joy yes. for the side of Blacklist. Faramis should have been a Blacklist, what, first pick perhaps? But that means that it opens up a lot for Onik. The idea here is you take away the Faramis so that it will not be used against your 1-1. Onik really designed this so well. And uh, I think that Blacklist International would now be focusing on maybe getting uh, the, the marksman now to match up against the 1-1. Wait, sorry. I have a follow-up question towards this Fredrin, right? Is this only played by Wise? So far, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so far, no flex? No. Not going to be a flex. Mm. I don't think they want the to be able to put star. like a sandbag yeah. on Edward as of right mm -hmm. now. We need a playmaker, right? It has to be effective. It needs to be able to start really threatening CW because for the past two games, he's gotten way too much without getting punished. Right now, honestly, I have questions as well because the Fredrin has been picked up. It's good to pick up the Akai to fight against the Fredrin so that you have, in my personal opinion, in terms of the, the, the retribution battles, the Akai would win. And the thing is, the Diggy has been banned out. So for the first three picks here, Onik, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like they're having the better draft. And also against the Joy. Remember, the Akai is going to be very good up against the Joy with the heavy spin. The Joy, if, if Edward decides to just jump in a bit too aggressive, he can actually just be brought back to the team so easily, given over to Fairmist to one one to Burst. Give but now, you can already see what Blacklist is doing. Even Onik, they're still going for the Leslie ban here. They know, and I, I especially know this, because I got destroyed in lane by Baby Cakes on a Leslie on one one once. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I met yep. them. And Diablo, this guy, he picked Fovia, so he's a nerd, but, you know, he's cool, he's cool. <laughs> Yeah. Are, we, are we even considering the possibilities of other potential counter picks against this one one or is that not even what we're looking at? It's we are, we're straight away, bigger picture, we're forgetting about the laning as Blacklist. Yeah, you can't you can forget about the one one You need to deal with it. I think you want to go for damage. I think Farsa is a good hero. It might be banned out by Onik, actually. So you go Farsa, Novaria, or Eve, Novaria. The thing with Farsa is that it chunks down the shields from the Faramis and also makes it threatening for the one one to position badly. And then you go for something like a uh, something like a, a damage-dealing uh, marksman Sir, as well. Like, unfortunately, Leslie has been banned, but maybe something where along the lines of a Beatrix or a Brody. Wow, wait. I'm sorry, Fanny. So they think the Akai can be flexed. That's what I wanted to say. Wow. That's what I wanted to say. Need some stitches? That's why I asked, can Fredwin be flexed? Because the yep. first three picks, if it can't be flexed, then it's very clear where all these heroes are going. Whereas for the side of Onik, it's a little bit more gray area. Sure, the Wan one is definitely going to the gold lane, but the Sparamis and this Akai is a yeah. little bit 
50-50. Ferrum is definitely not the style of Keyboy, but it still Ooh. can be flexed into perhaps maybe the EXP lane, right? Yep. So we're not really sure which direction it's going. It seems like Blacklist are picking up on that. And Onik now, they are going to go for the Melissa takeaway. Mm. Be forcing the Claude, perhaps, which loses against the 1-1. One -one. The best hero, the king is Beatrix, and they will take it. Yeah. But this means that Onik can just no, go something okay. like even Natalia, as well as somewhere in the lines of, uh, of Amasha in this particular game. You know, I, that's a really good matchup, actually. That If they want to go for it up against the Beatrix and even the Navaria, then Natalia is going to give them a mm -hmm. lot of problems. But I can't help but feel, you know, this Akai can be flexed into the robe, and it's going to be Kyrie on his signature high. Uh, two very easy backline targets to go for here. Yep. It's going to be the Udon locked in as well. So it is just between the Roamer and the Jungler. If if they want to go for something different, it should be the Cho. Beatrix, you yep. cannot bring Purify on this Beatrix. So with the Cho, you do have a lot to say. Up against the Joy as well, it is going to be a very good pick because you can lock them down. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. You called it. You called it. Well done, and Miracle. Through and through, their backline access, the team fights are great. They're able to kind of disengage from yeah. difficult spots. It, it's a it's a play on the previous composition that we saw in game number two from Onyx yeah. so far. What and it also gives them an answer to all these strategies, perhaps from Blacklist right now, right? The, the Beatrix, the Novaria, the Joy, like you mentioned, but this last surprise pick is going to be very important. It's just Farsar Eve, I think, for Blacklist. They need that. But uh, what I really like about this Yuzhong is that even when it's Eve or Farsa, it looks bad on Blacklist International. But at the same time, they're left with no choice. They need some sort of nuke damage. Yep. And if I had to choose between Farsa and Eve, I would also go for Eve yeah. as well. Anti-CC just to be able to protect you for a couple more seconds. Maybe try to make that impact before you go down. I think this is a hard game, but yes, they have downloaded habits and I'm hoping that we see them exploit it. I'm thinking maybe it's going down towards that gold lane. It is a one one and it is punishable after level four. So let's see whether that's going to be the case. Okay, now honestly looking at all the players, the coaches are moving away. And I gotta say, I got mixed feelings here looking at the faces. Some are looking worried, some are looking hopeful. Now here's the thing, Hidden has said it himself. For game number three, it's gonna be very, very important for both teams. Blacklist, if they want hope, they got to make sure they win this one. But on the side of Onik, man, if they win this third game, it's almost game over. I kind of feel like they're putting their foot on the throats of Blacklist. With that being said, we're going into game number three of the Grand Finals in MSC. Onik against Blacklist International. It's funny to see because I actually got to, you know, watch and cast Analyze MPLPH Grand Final Season 11, and I was doing that with Midnight. So shout out to Midnight. He told me that the M440 really hurt Blacklist, and after another 4-0, and now possibly another, you can't help but think that it is on the back of Blacklist's minds. Yeah, and right now, looking at the rotations, Wolf, anything that we gotta pay attention to, yep. or it's all normal. Yeah, it's gonna be well. I guess the, the the only difference is that there will be no kind, no uh, invasion from both teams. Because this is Fred and Akai, right? They are pretty much self-sufficient. It is weird though, because we know that as a Cho, you want to invade in the early stages. And right now, Sans is doing quite well. Everyone here is basically just poking each other out. But I gotta say, man, Keyboy is looking very active. He's trying to get his rhythm, he's looking, and he's trying to mirror wherever Wise is going. It's like, yeah, Wise, you know what? You're a Frederick, cool and all. You can walk anywhere you want. I'm just gonna make sure that I always have vision on you. Yeah. I can expect that Blacklist will put focus onto Boots. I think this is the right idea. Maybe force a Petrify, that's what they're doing. Oh, I don't think it's going to be good here. That's going to be a dive from Edward. Boots didn't pop in the Petrify, but Edward's already very low. No, he got the wave. Meanwhile, top side. Owl's going to be brought back to the team right now. Owl flickering out, but Keyboy jumps in again. One more weakness point is all he needs. No Inspire. This could be a mistake from the side of Onik right now as they gun him down. Yue's walking up. He has the flicker, but Keyboy's trying to zone him away as Sans walks in as well. Venus! Venus gets caught! What is me for fly over to Onyx? Dude! Okay, a, a lot happened there. 
Sans. Oh, it looked like he was forcing it, but oh my Venus. What was that positioning? Well, it was because he wanted to take out CW, and I think he can. But Sans was heroic. Flickered in, in front of Oh My Venus. Uh oh, Kai, Kai, I don't think this is going to be a good oh, strat for bad. you. Owl comes him down. He tried to go for an invade, but it's a very well placed position for Owl to counter that. Blacklist winning. Yep, yep. Looking at this situation as well, Blacklist was able to secure the turtle. Wise here, seeing Keyboy, CW, looks like he is going to get slowed down. So Blacklist, I don't know. Whoa! Oh! Venus! That's oh. how he redeems himself. That's how you do it. All of the effort that Onyx did up top lane, they went in free against Owl. They weren't able to kill Owl. Surely they punished on my Venus. But the fact remains, Owl was, was there to contribute for the kill on to Kyrie. Then oh my Venus shuts oh. down CW. The focus of Blacklist onto the top lane, well rewarded. Okay, you know what, Keyboy, good job on you. That is worth a TikTok clip. <laughs> now, I, I gotta ask, Mirko, CW on his 1-1, one -one, he's getting pressured. Does he really care? Uh, not really. You know, in every 1-1 one -one lane right now, wait a minute, Sans Force used to call alternate lane that RWM doing a lot of damage. Also, Venus, the mobility field almost taking him down. Yue has the flicker. <gasps> There you go, oh, Yue! Yeah! With a flicker forward to find that kill. Meanwhile, Kai can bring it back. No real world manipulation. Just a few more basic attacks, oh. and it is going to be a solo kill. Kai recovers for his team. I, oh. think, I think that carry really. Like, that <gasps> Key boy! Key boy, Key boy and Key boy. This is what you get. Now it's going to be CW flying across the skies, just like Onik. A good side step from both these members. Venus spotted Key boy out. Wise is going to be trying to sandwich them down. Knows that it is all up to CW. Keyboy is just playing around it. CW is trying to body block and he will do it. Venus does not know the positioning of Keyboy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? Right now, in the first four minutes here, we're seeing way more yeah. action than almost the entirety of the second game awesome. just now. Because a lot of fights are going everywhere. Yep. I gotta ask, Wolf, you're the Blacklist connoisseur. Mm -hmm. Is this where they're trying to switch it up, trying yes. to increase the tempo? Yes, surely. They they have to understand that the way that they are, that the way Onyx is playing is fast tempo as well. They have to match it. Well, Kyrie is going for it either way with a heavy spin. Now bringing it back. Why zone away from the turtle? He wants to get it now, and it should be free. Kai gets it with the dragon. Locking Wise down. Boots in the back with the black dragon for himself. Wise now three v one. The king of the jungle will fall, but he goes for a lot what? more damage first. The cult alter forced. The king of the jungle doesn't go without a fight. He paid some time for Owl to take some good gold and down below. Onyx snatching that turtle away from Blacklist International was so massive. You already put up the ultimate, well placed, well timed. Blacklist International had the control of the turtle, but it was Kyrie who secured the turtle. Then afterwards, Weiss felt so anxious for a kill, and that's why he was punished. All of a sudden, in a flip of a switch, Onik with a 1.5k gold lead. I almost want to say that's not Wise's fault, man. Because no, it's looking not. At, looking at how Onik plays, and again, Keyboy. Because, okay, look at what happened. Kyrie pushed the Frederick away. You're not getting anywhere near the turtle. Keyboy's like, I'm going to kick you away and then see what else you got. And to talk about the matchup again, we didn't really get to talk about it. CW on the 1-1. One, one. Well, 1-1 one, one in general, against any bullies or anyone who can actually escape from you, you just need to farm. Farm up, wait for the Corrosion site. Once you get the DHS, now that's when you actually look to fight. And right now he's on course to get a very early DHS. Okay, Demon Under Sword is the power spike yes. we're looking at here for CW. Kyrie now, as well as Keyboy. There's two ways for Onik to start the fight. Blacklist, they gotta be careful because Wise, even though you're the king of the jungle, there's not much that you can do 1v3, 1v4, sometimes even maybe 1v5. Yeah, definitely. For Onik, they have good team fight. For sure, good engage, I mean. But the Akai as well as the Yu Zhong. We haven't even seen like Boots participate in a massive team fight just yet. And now it means that oh, mid game is over with Word! As a vengeance popped in early though, now the crossbow attack CW in the back, now with the fire! Finds that one with Venus! What CW? He finds the devil under the turret! Now Boots dives into the back with a bunch of fire as well! Son forced in! Boots able to escape from the turret right now! No way, Kyrie what? saves him from it! Boots 1 HP, you is on the way! How did Onik just pull that off? Dude, oh, uh, you know what, you know what, you know what? If we deserve an instant replay, that yeah. deserves an instant replay. I gotta say, hats off to Keyboy. Keyboy. He waited for it. He went in and he got his target. And the flicker tra animation transfer as well. It all started with that snag onto Edward. Keyboy with that flicker and he wins. He goes in for the kick. Then CW making sure that he was able to pop the ultimate. 
Fortunately, oh. though, for Blacklist, Weiss was there to knock out TW, and they do have the damage, but Boots to pick up the stack, and Keyboy once again sacrificing his yes. body so that Boots will complete the kill and then carry defended. Onyx is just on a different chemistry level. Dude, it's point. I gotta say, this is why his KDA looks like that, but I kind of don't care. Oh. Sacrifice yourself for the betterment of your team. Blacklist now, what are you gonna do? That was beautiful mechanics, by the way. Right as you say that, Edward using the second skill, Unstoppable, to yep. get out of the way the Dragon. Exactly. see more from Edward to make those kind of yep. plays for Blacklist to come back. Edward taking full utility of a joy. That's good to see, for sure. Wait a minute, Wise, sit off position. Kyrie finds it. Oh, Wise pinned down. Real world of Glacia on the back, but it's the Black Dragon form as well. CW now with the crossball attack. Petri again, UA forced to flicker out. Edward jumping back inside now. CW is going to be caught with the way oh! the Dragon! Woo! From Keyboy, save CW, and he even gets a kill back! Keyboy gets it. Meanwhile, Owl up top trying to split up the map. Okay, you know what? Mirko, I don't let you use this. If it's not Keyboy, it's Key White. Man, that was key, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that one. Keyboy and his game, whoa, is amazing. Key man is, uh, sorry, a two out of ten, but he was definitely key for the side of Onik to win that, that was key one fight. Out of ten. When Kyrie went in for the ultimate, he was able to isolate Weiss. It was already looking good for Blacklist because Yue was able to pop the ultimate. Boots, however, was the difference maker. Going on to you and making sure that the friend was there, and then they get a kill. Then oh the way God. of the dragon, for some reason, was still saved to save Chewit. Okay, Edward again with a second skill, but they're just gonna go on to the turret. Edward trying to defend, but it is a, an easy siege for Onik down below, pushing the goal lead even further. Wait, let's just count it. Sun sure use his flicker, but the thing is, you force a lot of alts from Blacklist. Why sure now has his retribution, but we can see, man. What is the reaction speed of Sans? Yeah. That was insane. And now, looking at the Observer, he's trying to figure out. The lore has been started by Kyrie. Blacklist, you gotta contest. The question is, how? Because Kyrie on this Akai has been on point so far. Very difficult now for Blacklist International. They still have good engage. They still have the Ferrin and as well as the Eve. For them to, again, win the team fight, you have to rely on winning uh, winning the territorial battle. Fortunately for Wise, he's level 11, but Kari will be level 12 soon. It be better for Wise to wait for his levels to go up before they fight. Okay, right now, Kyrie being a little bit low. Wise. Backline, Keyboy. Look at Keyboy! With a play, a way of the dragon, a mystical one. Now zoning wise away, Edward jumping to the back, but the call Alter saves him now with Boots! Finds a better fly and the Flicker now wasted by Yue. Wise in the mid still, just buying a time. Boots gonna fall, the Uzi plays his wrath and a real world inflation. Edward jumps back in, CW still alive. It's one for one, gold for XP. Okay, we gotta say that was an amazing play coming in from Keyboy, but it looks like Blacklist, yep. they're not losing too much. They're going for Keyboy, they're looking very angry. Keyboy kicks Edward away. No. They just survived. I think the fact that the Fed, the, the, the ultimate coming up from Yuba is on point once again for Blacklist. That's how they defended. And big props to Y, still main, regaining composure. They would have lost that fight without Owl, but everybody from Blacklist just fought against Onik. And Kai now is going to get the brunt what of a the damage. Bolt. Kyrie, 1 HP, still jumped what? in. He wanted to go for a desperate Man. play. It did not pay off. And Blacklist, calm, stone cold, and calculated oh. takes the Lord for okay. free. This time, it looks like Blacklist. You know what? Dude, we're not going to play your game. You're going to play our game. Exactly. Use whatever you want. We're going to fight back. Exactly. And what is Blacklist's game? It's the Lord Dance. They were the ones who invented that kind of gameplay where you poke an Edward. After knowing that there will be no uh, called altar, there will be no way of the dragon, he saw the opportunity. Nobody is going to lock him down. You went in for Kyrie. Didn't matter that Kyrie is attack. Kyrie only had Radiant Armor as well as Antique Rass, but not his teammates, and he was pummeled. Great pokes from Blacklist. Oh, look at Keyboy. Keyboy might be getting caught. They're hunting Keyboy down. Now with a dash. Shampoo, real world manipulation also committed. Keyboy still able to survive. Edward! No way, away. Way. What? No way, Keyboy! Vengeance popped in by Edward. No Keyboy. Way, Keyboy! Buys the time. Now they get to clear the Lord for free. Shun post to what? dodge, then kick to get out. Keyboy is a different beast. Dude. He's not Keyboy. He's not Key Man. He's Key God at this point. Uh, CW's out of 10. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
Look at Edward, look at Edward, look at Edward! CW trying to run away, no vengeance, he baited it in earlier! That might just be a mistake now, Venus already forced to flicker out, now it's gonna be the render's apathy. Doesn't connect onto anyone. Okay, calm down, yep. I, I just gotta say, Keyboy, I've seen this dude mm -hmm. on live stream playing the Cho while eating, he was <laughs> piloting the hero with his feet! By the way. What? Really? Are you yeah, serious? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's on TikTok. It's on TikTok. Blacklist. Every time they try to team fight and go for the poke, the, and after they got the Lord, naturally the minions will be pushing, right? And this is a play that Blacklist always does. Create chaos, let the minions naturally push, and even when they lose one hero to another, you'll be surprised. A lane is already pushed. Okay. Kai now, gonna be caught, knocked up. That's Eretri as well. Why is using a lot right now, but the crossbow tank is going to be ready for CW now. Maybe a bit of an over-aggressive move from the side of Black Wizard International. That's the way the dragon... Oh, Keyboy finds Owl! Why is completely isolated on the heavy what? spin in the Black Dragon form? Keyboy is a mad lad for this one! Edward jumps back in with Vengeance, able to find one on the board. It's Kyrie who falls, but Boost jumps into the back line. Now with the Furious Dive to disengage, low down! Astral Sphere from Venus to take him down. Another equal trade, two Ooh. for two. Well then, this international Weiss tanked all that damage. And of course, ha holding on to the blade armor, there's a lot of physical defense already for Weiss. Ch uh, Chewe was able to pop the ultimate, but that is only onto Weiss. Wasn't able to transfer it. And after he Owl was pinned down, Edward cut the slack. Still, you have to come in Keyboy, finding Owl. Or maybe it's the other way. Maybe Owl needs more better positioning in these fights because so far, he hasn't contributed. Two and four, that's not good for a marksman. I gotta say, man, Keyboy playing this show, I think is giving Blacklist some nightmares. Remembering 100%. them of, remembering them of Yaoi. So this is like Kiwi. Kiwi? Wait, no, no, that's, that's a, a no, that's a one out of ten. That's, 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 that's another one out of ten. You guys have just been smashing out ones here. But Onik, they're the ones to push the pace this time in the 14th minute. They're trying their best to go for the Lord, but can they survive the poke, the range? Okay, right now we get looking at Sans. Looks like he is going to be one on duty to make sure that Edward does not push here. Looks like Blacklist, they want to have a taste of the split push themselves. Kyrie is still here, has vision of Wise. Not sure where Oh My Venus is. Right now they probably see him. But look at Onik. They're not trying to push things forward. They're just like, okay, let's maintain the wave and then we'll see what Blacklist does. Because I think they're all just waiting for the key man to get the key kick. Four out of ten. Four, four out of ten. Four better, 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 better. Yeah, you can do better. And oh, look at this. Uh -oh. Edward found out about this. Oh, he's going to be brought back right now with a vengeance as well. Edward. It doesn't matter. The crossbow tank is ready and CW has it now. Oh, CW! Yeah! Yeah! What? Welcome back, baiting out of an agent. Uncle Ultra comes down, heavy spin disengage. They're very low HP, so Blacklist can turn this around, but Wise can be pinned down, and that might just be it. Sans picks up the kill. They find another, and it's the mechanical prowess of Onik that's shining in game three. Dude, my face is in my hands right now. What happened just now? CW? It looked like he was gonna die to the vengeance, but I kind of feel like Keyboy was saying, it's like, dude, don't worry. Yeah. This you is, won't die! This is definitely key, familiarity, you know? Because Edward... Oh, Keyboy! Oh, Keyboy, oh, Keyboy, get him out of no here! No way! Keyboy! How? How does this man keep doing it? Oh my goodness! Oh no, 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 stop, stop, stop! You gotta oh. put a leash on Dude, have some mercy! Relax, your 2, 1, and 11! You're the roamer! Your goal laner has died more than you! <laughs> you're right, you're right! Massive kicks from Keyboy. The kick boy for side of Onik. Three out of ten. Unbelievable, but again, game of familiarity. Edward knows that there is going to be a play here, but Chewe oh was able to hold his ground. Gracious. Never even needing Sans's help up oh, until this timing. point. And then Kyrie was able to stun luck wise. Why did I say that it's a game of familiarity? Edward knows that there will definitely be someone in that bush. But then again, Onik laid that trap. They know that somebody from Blacklist will check that. And they have three members in there, which typically only has one or two. Three members, including the gold dater, the damage here means that kill is gonna be confirmed. Right now, the Lord is marching on mid. P Boy is smelling. He's looking at the positioning. Sans is quite low. White goes in. There you go. Sans is down. It has Lord was able to march down, getting a bit of turret damage there. 
But Zahn's actually okay. saved his ultimate because he has his passive. He knows it's not too worth it to utilize that ult there. Yeah, wind of the, uh, Winter Trencher now picked up by Edward. This needs to be all over the place for Blacklist. Everybody has to have a Wind of Nature or the up with you uh, with you. Yue, and now next, surely, oh my Venus. Oh, they yeah. need that! Whoa! There you go, okay. there you go. Now Edward okay. pushing the pace. That's heavy spin. CW, CW, CW! The call! It will save! It will save more than that! XP down. Still, though, it's going to be a trade. Keyboy's taken out as well. Now Kyrie's next on the chopping block. The Owl pushes the pace. Blacklist had found it. It found the key to Ooh. unlock this door. Yo! Yo! This game, you know what? We got highlights over highlights over highlights, the entire MSC highlight. Oh my Just god. Just get it here, man. He saved he, it. He saved he it for that. Exactly. Gila Sans! Gila Sans! Saving private Chewe this time. But what's really surprising is that Blacklist still managed to get two kills. And you have to really pick it back off of what Edward is doing. They have found Kyrie and Keyboy nonetheless. Owl and Omei oh Venus. Although you if you look at Owl oh, that's for it, still takes a lot of damage. Let's look at the replay of exactly what happened. Sans's timing was so good. Dude, and he had nothing left. Had nothing left. Oh my god. And how, look at how, that. How, Beautiful. Oh my god. What? what? Beautifully it? done. But Keyboy was under the, the turret, unfortunately. It was a massive mistake on him. And then, of course, Weiss, Dude. with that no. jump, was able to lock out Kairi. No, no, no. Keyboy didn't make a mistake. He heard that we said he died less than the marksman. Okay, oh, okay. wait, let me, let me just yeah, let me finish equalize, that. Equalize, equalize. Now it's equalize. He, he knows. But he's still down to that, so... Uh, yeah, I know, but, you know, Coach yeah, will be, yeah, like, okay, okay, having okay. a word, so it's like, you okay, know what? Okay, yeah, Kill yeah. it. Kill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My God, Take a breather, what a take a breather, what a man. Oh, no. Keep no. boys looking for it again. No way, right? Oh, Flicker. Oh, okay. Venus Flicker's out of that one. All right. That's a big spell, though. Yeah, yeah. now we got to calm down because I kind of feel like big moments are going to come soon. Wise and Kyrie looking at the timing. Ooh. Sans taking quite a lot of damage. Looking at Blacklist, they dealt a lot of damage onto CW. Oh my. They're doing a lot of damage onto Sans. Onik, if they throw, if at any point they make a mistake, it could be Blacklist trying to get the kill. Because I gotta say, Owl in this game so far has been the focus. Yep. Owl, Hood Hood cannot do anything. He's not getting caught. Speaking of which, Kyrie tries to pin oh, down early. Wise. But as the wise man once said, I can't get caught. Yes, he certainly can. Kyrie now is the one who's getting caught with the taunt, bringing it back under the real world inflation. No heavy spin to play with this. For Alter, placed down. Did he want to go for the trade still? Now, why is he be able to find the top right now? But the Raider Dragon locks him down. Who gets it? Who gets it? It's you. No, it's not. It's Edward who finds it. Now in the back, Lionel Vengeance as well. GW with the nature. Now, Boo's also going to fall. Oh my god. Blacklist. How? Dude. Out of nowhere, winning it around, turning Dude. it in all is you. I called it, man. The damage from Blacklist is strong. Onik, they just need to throw one time, and that might be the only time they've been giving it. You got to take those sands. This is Ghost Bursters, and this is mid lane Faramis. Packs up a punch. You have to be careful, but a two my connection on the ultimate! Let's see, CW has tracked a few. Now gonna be sniped down by the spear. Yue has the art of jam. Pops it right now as Edward oh. jumping in the back line, and CW's down! Blacklist! Haven't done it yet. Minion waves coming crashing down. No way to defend! This oh, is boy. not going to a clean sweep. This, this is going for more. I'm gonna call it. Gideon Q said it, third game. Incredibly important for both teams. Look at the face of Blacklist now. I'm pretty sure they're relieved, but at the same time, they're like, guys, it's not over. It's just one win. But what an important one win. Yui was critical. It was instrumental to the win of that team fight. That third fight, you saw that Kyrie already expended the ultimate. A massive Edward mistake. Smiling? <laughs> a Edward mass smiling? Edward smiling? A Wait, massive he has mistake emotions? for Onik. Then, of course, Yue popping the ultimate, locking down the entirety of Onik, securing the Lord as well. Then Edward comes into the fray. Edward and Yue were so important in that win for Blacklist International. You know what? That was an amazing game. I'm going to call Gideon and, and Turner coming in quick because I want to hear your opinions immediately. I tell you, what did I tell you? Let Edward find it. He is mm -hmm. a heat-seeking missile. All you got to do is set it up for the man. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> oh! That's right! I'm sorry, that's wow. all I can say. Dude, that's right! The curse is too quick. No, that, that's that's intense curse. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I told you, this is the cursed table. This is the cursed cast Ooh. already, oh. and you have Darren no, no, no. Dabble no, no. in it. I mean, there's a reason why previously in the Taz prediction, my name wasn't there. Mm. Yo. The production knows. Mirko, throughout this MSC, we've been chewing a lot. All of our curse is rubbing off of her. I'm not gonna say anything, you know? <laughs> a lot of things you could have uh, taken from us, that's the one you chose? Because, I know, I know. It's, it's crazy, right? Because honestly, I was talking to Gideon as well mm -hmm. backstage, right? We were talking about the drafts coming in from both Onyx as well as Blacklist. And I had to say that I really liked Onyx draft better. I felt like they had the, the, they had a lot of, Tools. Answers, ah. solutions to the strategies that Blacklist brought. But but this, exactly. And we thought that this was the weakest link, right? We mentioned it, the last pick, either Yiv or Farsa would be the weakest link. And yet it gets the MVP of this match. It's going to go to UA and it makes sense. Mm -hmm. There were so many times when Onyx tried to go for an end gauge that real-world manipulation just really hindered everything, blocked all the movements and the aggression from Onyx. UA was finding value where technically he shouldn't be finding value, yeah. right? Because half the time you want to maximize the real-world manipulation by maximizing the amount of charges you have and getting them all out on the field. The more you're able to pump out damage, the more you're going to be on the top of the charts. But in this case, UA thinks of it a little differently, right? He not only uses the edge of the box to catch the right targets, but he's also looking to slow down that front line from actually collapsing into these neutral objectives. And that's what we saw throughout the entirety of this game. Yeah. That's the reason why they were able to get Suns. And look at that, Ooh. extra hitbox once again. You're gonna see that in important team fights, you have to set up the box. And I'm not just talking about the box for me, it's the overall uh, the formation box that you can see from Blacklist International. UA, once again, look at that. Isolating Suns mm -hmm. from carrying was far too late, you know, to save someone else. But then again, they will get a they will get a big team fight victory here because Edward once again finds kill onto Kyrie, then they punish Boots. Another team fight that will be started and ended by the real world manipulation just because of territorial control. Like this one, for example, they just can enter through the formation of Blackness International. Critical from Yue. Yeah, I mean, the way that they're working is like a sieve, right? You're essentially trying to isolate as many targets as you can, try to get the gold and separate it away from the rest of the sediments in the mixture. And that's when we're looking for Keyboy, who closes yeah. in on those gaps and tries to pull away attention just so that it makes it work. But at the end of the day, right, I would say at least for Owl, he played a more stable game. He doesn't mind, right? He took a bit of damage at the end of it. He still felt like he had room to breathe. I feel like we also need to highlight Edward there, right? Mm -hmm. Because we mentioned, you yes. mentioned it actually. You were mm -hmm. like, you know, Edward needs to activate. He needs to come online. He needs to have a little bit more say in these games. So give him something like the joy. And he did exactly that. Onik were able to get a lot out of those skirmishes, those team fights. Mm -hmm. But Blacklist were able to kind of level it out because he, they were able to trade through Edward. Yeah, Edward is the main pillar here in the game for Blacklist International. Like you mentioned, every single time Edward goes in, even though he's not able to find CW, let's say earlier uh, in that skirmish, call alter, burnt out, Keyboy completely zoned away and isolated from his team, and so did Kyrie. Kyrie got baited into that situation using the heavy spin to disengage for CW and ended up getting caught. Also, that final, final Lord that sealed the deal. Yep. That team fight, again, was Edward baiting on a lot of these scales, a lot of these resources, and destroying the formation that Onik yep. wants to utilize with the crossbow of Tang. I love his build as well, right? He's not trying to be respectful at all in no sense of the word. He knows that he needs to provide, provide a lot of kill threat. He knows that he's eventually going to have to purchase at least a third eye to blood wings, 100%. He needs to be able to sustain and look at that, my goodness. The most damage. The most damage, 75,000. And before we throw it to Wolf, real quick, Edward has 67% team fight participation and he has the highest damage dealt. Yeah. And this is because both Edward and Yue understands what they need to do in a team fight, and specifically in a Lord Dance. You saw Edward needs to go to the back lines, be a menace, then output the damage, and he did 75k. Then Yue onto onto Kyrie, right? We saw that in the previous game as the Valentina that that copies the real world manipulation. This time he is playing the Eve. Both occasions, whenever he sees Kyrie in a team fight.